And gentlemen, welcome to the show. We have an amazing show for you people tonight, and I'm excited because half our studio audience are Norwegians tonight, isn't that? <laughs> they have no idea who the hell we are. <laughs> I was shocked to find that out. We'll translate for you as we go along. <laughs> I'll wear clogs. We'll have a good time. <laughs> Uh, no, we do have a great show to you people tonight. Big stars are here. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, I'm happy because the president's in the news. That's always good news for people like me. The president, you know, he's been getting around. Did you know that? He's been, he's been getting around. According to the Associated Press, this is a big story. It was in the paper today. President Clinton is the most traveled president in U.S. history because he has now traveled to 58 different countries. Isn't that something? That's right. That's right. And apparently, apparently he's not allowed back in any of them. <laughs> kind of a... Now, my favorite story, I, I saw this in the paper. A man in Spain, true story. A man in Spain was on a date and he got his hand stuck inside a condom machine <laughs> for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, apparently his date was furious, but the condom machine had three orgasms, which, uh, which I thought. Okay, the Norwegians just left, apparently. <laughs> this man is horrible. That's my Norwegian. <laughs> uh, I read in the paper that today, did you know this? Today is National Fight Procrastination Day. That's right, yeah, and if you uh, tune in tomorrow night, we're going to have a hilarious joke about that. <laughs> so you had to think about it, and then it was just still kind of okay. All right. <laughs> now that I think about it, you saw... All right, a... Uh, a... Uh, a uh, I like the story. A computer hacker from Washington State was charged with causing $40,000 worth of damage to Vice President Al Gore's website. He tampered with it and caused $40,000 worth of damage. And uh, what's worse, what's worse, the hacker did so much damage, technicians had to stop and reboot Al Gore. Because <laughs> of his robotic-like qualities. And then last thing I'll mention, it's been reported, I like this, it's been reported that Pamela Anderson Lee keeps the placenta from the birth of her child in her refrigerator. Yeah, and uh, reportedly when her husband, Tommy Lee, found out, he said, let me get this straight, you kept the placenta and got rid of the implants? <laughs> our show folks thank you for being here we uh no we do have a great show tonight a fantastic show i think uh some would say the biggest comedy star in the country maybe the world this guy is so huge right now i frankly don't know why he's here uh <laughs> we're thrilled to have him our good friend chris rock is on the
about it for Frost. We also have, from the Today Show, I think also one of the finest comedians in the world, Ann Curry, is on the program. She's on Today. She does the, the news on Today. And a uh, very funny author, Joe Queenan, going to be joining us. It's quite a lineup. It's one of those Napoleon cakes of quality. And right over there, I'm still not getting used to it. You do look like Ernest Borgnine now. Jimmy Vivino <laughs> and the Max Weinberg 7. Hey, Jimmy.